Wumen painter. There's a painter in Wumen who forgot his name. I like to paint Lu Dong Bin's portrait. Every time he imagines Mr. Lu, he is impressed. He would love to see Lu Zhu, a pious thought that would keep him away from him all the time. One day, the painter happened to meet a group of beggars drinking outside the city. One, dressed in rags, showed his elbow but was radiant and imposing. The painter's heart was moving, and he was suspected of being Lu Zhu. A closer look reveals that it's true. So he grabbed the guy's arm and said, You're Lu Zhu. The beggar laughed. The painter insisted that he was Lu Zhu, kneeling on the ground and refusing to get up. The beggar said, I'm Lu Zhu. So what are you going to do? The painter kotos and asks for his advice. The beggar said, You recognize me, and it's kind of a connection. But it's not a place to talk. Let's meet again at night. The painter also wanted to ask, and suddenly the beggar had vanished into thin air. The painter marveled at his return home. At night, the painter dreamed of Lu Zhu's rival, telling him, I miss you sincerely, and I have come to see you. But you're too arrogant to be an immortal. I'll let you meet someone, a beautiful woman, dressed as a princess of the imperial palace, descended from the sky after waving into the air. Beautiful looks, gorgeous costumes, lit up the house. Lu Zhu said, This is Miss Dong. You have to look carefully and remember. And then I asked the painter, Remember that? The painter said, Remember, don't forget it. Mr. Lu once again instructed. After a while, the woman left, and Lu Zhu left. When the painter wakes up, feeling strange, he remembers the woman he saw in his dream. Paints a picture, hides it, but doesn't know what it means. A few more years later, the painter stumbled to Beijing just as concubine Dong of the Imperial Palace died. The emperor, who preached to Dong Fei's Yan Hui, summoned the painters to make a portrait of her for posterity. And the emperor described her in his mind, but none of them could have painted it. When the painter heard about it, he suddenly remembered the woman he had dreamed of. I will present the image of myself to the emperor. The people in the palace have read it all over, and they've all said it's a wonderful painting. The painter was thus placed in the position of magistrate. But he refused to be magistrate, and the emperor gave him $12,000. From there, the painter became famous. The rich and the rich all fought to hire him with a fortune to paint their forefathers. He only had to be imaginary for a while to make it look real. In just over 10 days, the painter made another $1,000. Chu Gongkui of Laiwu had seen the painter. All right, this story has come to an end. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.